Hello students, today we are going to discuss cloning vectors, the basic properties of cloning vectors. So in this video we will be learning cloning vectors, the basic essential requirements of a cloning vector. First of all, let's see what a vector is. It's a small piece of DNA which is taken from a virus, a plasmid or a cell of an higher organism. Now, a vector is actually a vehicle which is transporting a DNA fragment of interest to the host cell. So, to act as a vector, it must have certain essential features. So, those features are like origin of replication, which we call them as ORI, selectable markers, restriction sites, copy numbers, and compatibility. Let's discuss what origin of replication is. Origin of replication is per is actually a sequence in a genome at which the replication is initiated. Now you can see in this figure, this is origin of replication and it is a point where replication is actually initiating. Now this replication can be bidirectional or it can be unidirectional. The second essential feature is selectable markers. These are carried by the vector and allows selection of positively transformed cells means I need to differentiate between the recombinant cells and the non-recombinant one. So for that I need certain selectable markers and these can be for example antibiotic resistant gene as you can see in this figure this is PBR322 which is a vector and it has certain selectable markers like ampicillin resistant gene and tetracycline resistant gene. The second feature is the restriction sites. Now, restriction sites are sites where a restriction enzyme cuts the DNA at a near specific nucleotide sequence. Now, uh, for example, this figure shows the major restriction sites that are used in recombinant DNA technology. They are like Hintree, BAMH1, SAL1, PST1, PVU1, EQRI1. So these are the sites where a restriction enzyme actually cuts and help in the insertion of the fragment of DNA at this site. The next essential feature is the copy number. Now what is copy number actually? It is the number of molecules of an individual plasmid that are normally found in a single bacterial cell means this copy number actually refers to the number of naturally occurring copies of a plasmid now a cell can have a very high copy number also as you can see in this figure the number of plasmid molecules that the cell is carrying so it is a high copy number plasmid now uh, we can also have low copy number plasmid and these type of host cells carry uh, a very low number of plasmids. So, but uh, the number of plasmids that a vector should actually have, a glute cloning vehicle should have, should be high. So that we have multiple copies to make a recombinant plasmid vector. The next property is compatibility and it refers to the ability of ability to coexist in the same cell with different kind of plasmid. So compatibility actually refers to how compatible the plasmid is in, in coexisting in a same cell with different types of plasmid. A good compatible plasmid is of course a good vehicle. Thank you.